Miss Richardson, um, wonderful woman, very busy, and she uh, was just dizzy, and she wanted to be checked out. And we did our routine screenings of our patients where we check the heart with ultrasound, the carotids, ultrasound, aorta, legs, all of those things. But what we found was large plaque in the carotid, large plaque, and with a very abnormal velocity or blood flow. But she sent me to have an MRI, and they found something, and so they sent me to a neurologist who ran tests, and finally sent me to uh, have a CAT scan, and found out that my carotid artery was blocked. So she sent me to St. Luke's to a Dr. Crager who put a stent in. People will have dizziness. Sometimes there are no symptoms. So silence is not golden here. Silence is deadly. So um, that's why it's so important to be checked. In the literature, of course, we know that the older we are, the more oxidative stress, the more plaque formation uh, occurs in the vessels. But I have found young people to have already atherosclerosis or plaque formation. So if we can find it at a younger age, in their 20s and 30s, that they're developing plaque, we can protect them from presenting like uh, Ms. Richardson did, you know, with a severe blockage that could only be fixed by surgery. Um, she's very personable. She has plenty of time to talk to you and, and tell you the, what the symptoms are and what can be done. And she's very caring. Carotid disease can also present with symptoms of numbness or tingling, difficulty speaking, changes in the facial um, shape. Basically, people may not be able to smile or maybe they've had small strokes uh, where they can't move their face or speak or move their arms or legs uh, like they used to. So those things should be checked even if they're subtle. You should check with their doctor. Um, when you find a doctor that you can recommend to your friends and to your family, it's great. I'm not a big fan of doctors, but I just love her to death.